customize your Pro Tools 11 icon. So if you are a Pro Tools 11 user, then you probably know that Pro Tools 10.3.6 and higher can be co-installed with Pro Tools 11. And when you have those two versions of Pro Tools installed at the same time, you'll notice that your icons look exactly the same. This is not too bad when you're on the desktop or say the start menu where you have Pro Tools 10 and Pro Tools 11 text, but it may be confusing when you're looking down at the toolbar. Sure, you can hover over an icon and eventually you'll get a little pop-up that tells you exactly what version you're clicking on, but we can do better than that. So let's customize our Pro Tools 11 icon. Now to change icons on Windows, we'll just select our program and we'll just right click, come down to properties, and then we'll make sure we're on the shortcut tab. We'll come down here to change icon. So what you can do first is say, click browse and browse over to your Pro Tools 11 folder and try clicking on the Pro Tools application. Okay, and that will give you these options. So these aren't too bad. We could also go back to our Pro Tools folder and say, try this software updater icon. We'll choose it, okay. Then we need to click apply. Make sure you have the administrator permissions. Continue, okay. And there's our new icon. So this icon's not too bad, but I had something a little different in mind. So we'll right click, go to properties, and what I'm going to do is use an icon that I created. So we'll go to change icon and we'll browse to the folder. Now I have already created the icon and have converted the image to an icon file. I moved my icon into the Pro Tools folder so I know exactly where it is. So we'll just choose that, hit open, just as we did before, OK, and apply. Continue and OK. And there's our new icon. I really like this icon because it highlights the new audio and video engines available in Pro Tools 11. Now, if you look down at our toolbar, you'll see that our icon hasn't changed. That's just because we need to update it. So I'll just right click, unpin from toolbar, right click again, and choose pin to taskbar. And now we have two different icons. So now let's make a custom tile for our Windows 8 start screen. And to do that, I'm going to use a program called Obli Tile. So this is a free program that lets you make your own tiles for Windows 8. So let's go ahead and name it. Then we need to choose our program path and that will be our Pro Tools folder and we'll choose Pro Tools. That's what we want to open. Then we can choose our image and I have a PNG format image for this also located in my Avid Pro Tools folder. So here that is, we'll just choose it, hit open. Now we'll preview this and we can see it there. And I'm going to hide the name because I don't need that on there. Since it's a full screen image, I don't really need to mess with this too much. I'll just go ahead and choose a kind of a gray. All right, and we can choose if we want to run this as administrator because we're not going to have those options when we right click this tile on the start screen. So I'll just choose that and then simply hit create tile. There we go, our tile has been created. We can close this and go to our start screen. Now be sure to scroll to the end of your start screen because it may have placed the tile there. But here is our new tile. You see, we still have our original Pro Tools 11 tile. We can unpin this and just use the new tile that we created. So there are two ways for you to create your own custom tiles on Windows. Now you'll be able to quickly and easily, at a glance, tell apart the two versions, even in your taskbar.